What is up guys, Austin Rocho here doing the new Overwatch Ultimates from Hasbro, so the new Hasbro Overwatch figures here, so it's kind of cool they got this first Wave 1, I believe it's every character from Wave 1, so we got a lot of characters to go through and see all the different stuff, so we're starting off here with the individual figures, so out of this we've got Tracer and Sombra, and then we've got Lucio and Reaper in the Blackwater Reyes outfit then we've got the two packs with uh, the Anna in the Shrike outfit and Soldier 76 and then the Mercy and Fair two pack ending it off with the Reinhardt in the giant one which obviously you can't even take his figure even starts here and goes up so it's got a big box kind of for no reason but um, I think it's part of the shield and stuff in the background that we'll see but you can see the picture of him there so of course this is a giant figure and so this is all of the new figures again by the Hasbro in the Overwatch Ultimate figure and stuff so they look pretty cool we we'll have to open them and see what they come with stuff i wrote some stuff down because again if you haven't seen any videos in the past with overwatch i've played it a little bit like you know a couple times and stuff so i know like the starter characters pretty much all these characters i have played with but uh, when it gets beyond that i don't know any of the characters but then i kind of looked up some of their stuff because they have some information on the back and everything that we'll read and what skins they got and kind of their weapons and everything and stuff so not gonna go into too much detail but i do have some of that stuff but let's go ahead and get into it. we'll go through each figure and check them out and stuff and see how good they are with the new Hasbro stuff. So first up here we've got Tracer so I'll kind of go through of course with this figure and kind of show how we're going to do it. So I want to look at each character individually so here we've got Tracer here so the classic look of Tra Tracer in her classic skin outfit just kind of look at some of the stuff. So here we've got of course her black hair all swept up, her black goggles here on her face. She's got like a bomber jacket uh, looks to be pro possibly from World War II. It does have the, um, I guess, Great Britain on the Union Jack, I guess is what it's called, logo there on the shoulder. And then it looks like an airplane, maybe some. I know she has like an aviator and stuff. And then, of course, she has her device here that I think helps propulse her through um, space and stuff like that, as we'll talk about. Then she's got what look to be just like some tight yoga style pants on her athletic pants there with Tracer there on the logo. I like the yellow into the orange color. And then she's got these shoes down here at the bottom, these weird looking shoes very weird looking um but it just looks cool of all she has these weird arm pad things probably something to do with the movement through time as well and then of course she has her two guns which will i'll go through and like name all this different stuff and everything for moons of course she can twist her head around for some reason the hair on this one comes off i don't I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to happen, but it doesn't look like it's glued or anything. So I may have to have that glued back on and stuff. Um, for the arms, can rotate all the way around, can move up a little bit. So these are Hasbro, so they're going to be very similar to Marvel Legends and everything. Um, but then we got the single elbow joint there. The hand can twist around, which I did notice. It'll be kind of weird. The hands and feet on the characters are a lot bigger than they should be, at least to match the like face heads and everything. But that could just be part of the character design and stuff and how they're designed in the game. You you can see right under her chest she does have what would be like the ab crunch but she twists there as well. Then of course the legs move and I like how so it's got these straps on and so like the strap here is just completely independent so you can still move the leg around and then it's got a strap there on the leg but right on above it is where the thigh twister is so it's I like how they design stuff to where you can still move around everything without being inhibited it's got the double knee joint which of course it's all stiff and everything from the paint and everything then the foot that can flex and twist side to side same as all the normal Marvel Legends movements and everything um, but like I said I'm not gonna go into much like a whole lot of detail on each of these characters and stuff um we will look at like their um outfits and everything but we're not going to go into a whole lot of detail and stuff she does have her guns there again with um some details that come off at the end so it looks like she's shooting and everything as she does in the games where she zips around the game and shoots and everything so you can't take these off they're just a fun little attachments and stuff you can take on and put on the end of the gun so i like how all the weapons Pretty much everyone's weapons come with these things. So I like um, that they have that and stuff. And I think it's cool. She's kind of hard to get the stand out. I don't know if it's her feet or joints or whatever. But it is kind of weird. For accessories, she does come with additional hands here. So she's got just an open flat hand. Then a hand kind of like pointing stuff. So she can probably do like a salute or something. Or just point and stuff. But we've got that for her. But what I kind of want to look at though is the back of the box here. So it has of course the picture of her. But then all sorts of information here. So she is a damage as you can see there at the top by the logo. Her net real name is Lee. Oxton, age 26. She's an adventurer for an occupation and a formally affiliated with Overwatch. And then we got some logos here. Again, I don't know what that logo is for. I don't know 
know the whole like union or uh, flags and everything but we have these little symbols here which I want to talk about so I'll do the special at least I think those are the specials I'll do those last but for here she's got her pulse pistol so that's what the two guns are there she has the blink and the recall so this is where she jumps forward like she zips forward and then the recalls when she comes back and then her special here is the pulse bomb and so I kind of went through and looked up all of those different things and stuff just for information on them and everything so again it looks very cool again there's weird stuff with her hair and then there's she has some issues standing, but I think if we messed around with her joints and loosened them up and everything, she wouldn't probably have as many issues. But I do love the stuff on the, like, guns and stuff, the, um little effects and everything you can add on to I think it adds a lot of detail and stuff to all the characters and their weapons and I really enjoy that and stuff so it'll be fun to play around with these characters and get them posed and everything but I think that's very cool and that's it for Tracer. Next up is Sombra and again very nice looking female character here. I like the colors of the purple the light blue and the pink all mixed together I think it looks very nice and into a very interesting looking character overall so there's a look at her face up there again with the pink lipstick and the eyes and stuff she's got half her head shaved there with some sort of detail into it. Longer hair swooped around into the back here and stuff with pink and everything. Then she's got a dark blue overcoat on with some silver on it, a little bandolier type thing there. A blue design underneath like skirting. It's got pink sleeves with dark purple hands here where she's got a gun and stuff that again we'll talk about later. she got dark pants at the top here then it, the knees goes down into pink which fades into blue and it's weird that you can kind of like see her toes and stuff in the design there. But very nice cool looking overall. Same movements pretty much as Tracer overall just maybe a little inhibited there by her jacket and stuff or her coat getting in the way and everything but very nice overall again there is a look at the gun this one does not have any sort of details or anything that go on to it unfortunately um, I thought it'd be kind of cool but it does not which is still okay and everything but we do though get some accessories to go along with it so we do have part of her um, I guess her hacking and stuff which will be a special egg and we'll go into and everything and I put this hand on because it's got these three I don't know if you can even see them yeah there you kind of can there you can see the three finger holes there and I found this um, hand like fit into the tools there may be other ones and stuff but I assume you can put the hand on and then kind of reach out and it has this uh, stand so if you want to like get it to stand up and everything but it's got her like hacking stuff so like her kind of like invisible keyboard there where she puts her hands on and you know types around to different things and stuff there and so along with that though you do get additional hands and stuff it looks like you could probably choose either one maybe not exactly sure but it's two of very similar hands obviously for one for right and one for left but a fit with creepy looking fingers there and then she also comes with her um, translocator here which is a little like teleporter beam thing and stuff I think she, is she the one that when you put this down it then allows her to like come back at that spot? I don't, again, I've played the game in so long and I don't remember all the characters but I know one would place a thing and then like if you died you'd come back wherever you'd place this so I don't know if that's what that is or if it's some sort of teleporter or something again I can't remember all the different stuff but again we will look at the box here for Sombra which is a damage again um, she has no name or identity besides Sombra, so nothing going there. She's age 30. She's a hacker and a form of affiliation of talent and Los Muertos there. And for all her different logos, oh, she is in her classic skin, by the way. I want, just want to note the skins. Looks like she's um, from Mexico by logo there. She has a machine pistol, which is the gun she's got. Um, her translocator, um, which is, again, part of her... Uh, design and stuff there for one of those logos and then there's also stealth is one of those I just don't remember the right one there's EMP there with that little face thing and then her hacking as her special there going on in the end with all this stuff so again very cool I like again all the details and stuff that's one nice thing about these Hasbro figures is that they come with all the different deta additional details like the hacking the gun the little trans thing of course they all come with hands as every Hasbro figure does it seems like but um, again just very nice with all the additional accessories especially for Sombra next up we've got Lucio which again I really like this figure I think it's super cool looking at and everything here so here is a look at him so we got his face under here which of course he does have these goggles on which is attached here which is probably part of his music and stuff going on but he's got nice green uh, goggles there on the front his face there underneath which looks you know just like a normal human and stuff nothing different there so he's got his hair coming back into like the dreadlock details and there I like the shaved sides and then the ponytail there he's got a backpack on again which is like a speaker and stuff as you can see the design 
going into the back there. He's got a nice bright green shirt on there that goes down into his legs, which I assume he's got like armored legs, or it could be he's just no, has armor on, or he could be like half a robot. Not exactly sure. Again, I don't didn't look too much up on each of the character stuff, but I like going into the blue color coast with the pad armor there on the front, up on the upper thighs, the knee pads there, and the bright green color as well. On the shins, got the um, blue as well, and then of course like robotic underneath and everything there. Of course, cables and wires and stuff going everywhere for the whole speaker and music stuff. And then of course up top here he's just got um, normal arms and stuff with bands and stuff around on his hands. Again, hands look a little bit too big. And then on the feet there he does have like, I assume there'd be roller blades or they look kind of like ice skates because they're flat. We can take those off. They're flat, but I assume there'd be like roller blades. But I really like again these details that you can just add on so you can obviously have them normal or take these and add on so it looks like you know he's doing his skating around and stuff. Um, again, I just really like these sort of details and I like this stuff how it's like clear. It's really soft and weird. It's like gummy and stuff it looks like candy or something but very interesting overall and cool and i like um those details a lot that they add onto it he does come with his gun here as well which we can attach into his hand into his hand like that and then it does have this little um, wire thing that you can take and then push into his armband if you have it kind of strained up and attached and stuff so it probably limits some of the movement and everything but it just pops right in there so then he's got his speaker style gun which of course we will talk about here in a second for movements obviously you can move his head um, his arms and can rotate around and move up and everything's going to be probably the exact same as the other characters he does have a double elbow joint there instead so it's the first character here that has the double elbow joint I just pop this thing out and then it does have the bicep twist as well up here at the arm which kind of stuck but it does have the twist going on there of course the wrist is going to be the same um, does have the same sort of like ab crunch thing but it does have the additional one there as well so it's got the crunch right here on the side and then also the twist right there at the right under his chest so he's got two additional little movements there going on with his chest no waist twist or anything just up here at his chest and everything and then the legs of course can move um around they're kind of stick stuck and everything and stiff but it can move around and it's got the double actually it's just got one big knee it looks like and then of course the foot can twist around and bend and everything and his blades fell off so very cool overall he does come with additional hands here so again just two more designs he's got a fist hand and then just a hand with open fingers there like that and then of course we'll look at the box no other accessories obviously he's got the feet thing the gun and then the hands there as well so here we got lucio so he's a support his name is lucio Cor carrera os, os or Dos Santos, I guess I did see the D. Um, age 26, D, he is a DJ, of course, with the music and everything, and he's a freedom fighter, and he has no team affiliation, he's from Brazil. And so from his little logos here, um, he's in his classic outfit again, by the way. He's got his sonic amplifier, his little gun there, the crossfade, amp it up. The, again, these are all moves and stuff he does with the special of the sound barrier there as well. So again, a very nice looking figure. This is probably one of my favorites so far out of the set and very nice and cool overall for Lucio. Next up, we've got Reaper in the Blackwatch Reyes outfit. And design, character design wise overall, I don't like this one. I like the original Reaper design much better. So I'd much rather have, have had that in the version, but then Overall, his head looks really tiny compared to his body. He's got a little itty bitty head, and then he's got giant hands and feet. So I feel he's a little bit um, misproportioned, but still, um, I guess, pretty decent overall, though. So there's his head. He's got like a um, toboggan hat type thing on his head there. Of course, the mustache and everything from his actual head of what Reaper actually looks like. He's got a piece of armor over his what looks to be a hoodie here, a grayish color hoodie with some armor and stuff. He's got some logos that I assume to be like the Reaper, and the Overwatch could be the Black. Watches. I don't know what the logos look like or anything, but that obviously looks a lot like the Overwatch logo, just in different colors. Again, more armor I'll wear, and he's got some gloved hands on, which with some giant hands and fingers there. Um, then you know, he's got a belt on with some um, holster stuff, and especially ammo and stuff here. You can see some like grenades around there on his thigh, um, his hip, and then thighs down there. Then he's got armored boots on, as you see, from his knees all the way down to big, giant, heavy metal boots there. For movement stuff, going to be probably the same. He does have an additional movement there, as you can see. He's got like the butterfly joint added in there um, but shoulder stuff can move and twist around he doesn't have the bicep though double elbow joint he does have that there of course the hands all the same um, does have the two crunches so the crunch here on the side and then also at the top that twist around and everything there so he's got the two crunches going on there no waist twist beyond that though and then he's got the legs of course that can move and then the thigh which that's another one that I was talking about where it looks you know there a would be like attached there but separates so you can still twist the thighs around stuff double knee joint there as you can barely it's kind of stiff but it's got the top 
part there as well. And then the foot with the same joints as always. He does come with his two shotguns here, again with some effects that you can just pop into the front here that look like the shotgun shots. So I definitely want to get these in. So there he's got the two shotguns, but I think with the effects and everything and the guns in general, there's the so big and heavy that he can't really hold them, so it kind of like weighs his arms down. Then I had to get him to lean back just to be able to hold him up a little bit. So again, unfortunately, they're just a little bit too big and his arms like aren't got stiff enough joints or whatever to like help hold it. Probably if it didn't have like this butterfly joint, it probably would probably help a little bit more. But because he does it, it kind of falls down. So you can't really get kind of like that good classic Reaper look onto him and stuff. But um, still, I really like the shotguns and the effects on him. He does also come with additional hands, of course. The big giant hands that for, don't match him for some reason for that there. And then, of course, we are also have his box here to look at. So he is a damage. Gabriel Reyes is his real name. He's age 51. He's a commander of the Black Watch. And then he, he's also affiliated with Black Watch. He's a whatever origin is unknown but we got his logos here so here down we've got his hellfire shotguns his two shotguns there his wraith form which um he kind of like does some different stuff i don't know all the exact like details of it and everything he's got the shadow step and then a special of death blossom there as well which again like i said i wish this was in the regular reaper form and not this black watch reyes version but that's kind of what they made for us unfortunately but it's still pretty cool overall especially with the shotguns for reaper here then next up we got our first two pack of anna and soldier 76 so we got anna here in the shrike outfit so you can see it's kind of like a stealth outfitter i guess just some to keep her him she's in a coat with a hood on and everything and a mask over her face and so it's very nice design you can see the hood kind of like can move around Around. you can probably take it off if you want to as well and it's kind of being helped held on by the coat with the colors and stuff around it there i can't keep the gun in her hand for some reason this gun is like a pain in the butt and everything so i don't know exactly what's going on with that she does have a bandolier going around her neck and stuff so it looks got cute kind of like grenades and stuff in a pocket there she does have like an all like black outfit on there with again that looks like armor and stuff like that kind of be to hidden on stuff and everything and again the overwatch logo there on her arm black arms and sleeves there on the jacket i like the coat design here with the light blue details going on with the silver as well you can see down at the bottom it looks all damaged and tore up and everything there like she's been in some fights and everything she got a belt on here with some holsters and stuff going on a nice piece uh, protective thing going down in the front like a loincloth some big baggy pant legs of course with some armor and stuff so on the, the front thighs and the knees there all the way down to the feet which have little tiny feet here so she has um, a little bit of issue standing up and everything but it's not um, too horribly bad and then she does also come with the gun here as well her like sniper gun and it does have this detail i assume this goes on here because it was in the pack and i couldn't really figure out where else it went it has a little hole there it's the only thing i could figure out is that it went on there to be like her shot and stuff whenever she shoots the gun so it can go on to there and that's probably why she can't help hold the gun probably along there as well i'll go and do the accessories and then we'll move so soldier 76 then kind of look at their box and stuff she does also come with this gun which again we'll probably see what this stuff does at least i assume it goes to her because again um didn't really know who else it would go with besides her and again um when i go through their stuff it'll probably explain why and everything there but she's got that little handgun as well and then of course two additional little hands and everything and for movement she'll be the same as all the other females and stuff then we got soldier 76 over here which again looks very cool i like this um she is in again her shrike outfit he's in the classic outfit again i like the color stuff with the red white and blue design here on the jacket and everything you can see his face he's an older man there but he's got or at least assume with the white hair and stuff he's got the scar on his face then of course his mask there as well we talked about the jacket he does have some shoulder holsters there um going down we got a belt with a holster on with a gun that doesn't come out or anything there some grenades and stuff some grenades there on his arms look like as well gloves on his hands additional pockets there on his back some um his legs here and stuff got some little pocket stuff looks like the holster also attaches to his leg there then go down we've got some boots with some metal on them and stuff for protection and everything then of course his gun which again we'll hear what that is and everything in just a second here but a very nice cool looking design overall again 76 there on the back as well movement should be yeah, pretty much the same as all the guys so he's going to have all the double knees and elbows and stuff he's got the um 
crunch here at the top as well there on lower down as well as the additional crunch on there and stuff again he's got giant hands a little tiny head and pretty big feet as well so again the proportions are not perfect on these but um on the guys they don't look nearly as bad as they do like on some of the females and stuff for uh, its accessories he does come with two additional hands that are in the fists and stuff so if he wants to do some punching and then he also do does have rockets here that i believe just attach onto the front of the gun here since it has the little design and stuff you can put it on so it looks like he's shooting rockets off of the front of his gun and stuff like a rocket launcher and everything hopefully he'll stand he would not so i took it off so now let's look at the box so here so here we have anna here and her name is anna amari she's a support age 60 and this is um Farrah's mom which we'll see fair here in a second she's a bounty hunter for occupation affiliated with the overwatch formula and stuff then we have our logos here it's got the egypt flag there <laughs> think of what it was called for a second and um, then she's got her, her rifle here. It's for the logo, which is her biotic rifle. She's got the sleep darts, which I assume is what that little gun is for, is the sleep darts that she shoots out. And then it's also got biotic grenades and stuff, which are the little grenades over her and everything that we saw. And then for her special, it's the nano boost there for that logo as well. And then we can move over to Soldier 76. His name and age are not known. Um, he's a vigilante and over formerly affiliated with Overwatch. Um, again, no known country of origin. And then for the logos, for his gun, he's got the heavy pulse rifle, the helix rockets, the sprint forward biotic field, and then a special of tactical visor going on there. So again, very cool. I like this. I like the seven, Soldier 76 most um, out of this. The Anna is just a little too skinny in her feet and stuff and the gun holding issues and stuff I don't like too well, but it's still a pretty cool pack. And our next two pack is the Mercy and Fair, which again, I think this is probably one of the coolest packs and they come with a lot of accessories here. As you can see, Fair is kind of up floating and stuff because that comes with this base to help because obviously these are both two characters that fly or float and stuff, so you can use it for either Either one but I feel um, fair kind of needs it a little bit more with some of her stuff she has that we'll look at um, so I just went ahead and put on her but to get it kind of beyond there it's kind of uh, made her float and stuff I'd kind of much rather have her down on the ground but I don't really know how to get her to stand um, kind of but we'll put that there so we'll move her aside and look at Mercy though first and so Mercy is kind of interesting she's very much like an angel and stuff uh, by her design as you can see with the wings which they both these characters do have wings and they can move and rotate they're in like ball joints as you see hers just popped out you can only rotate them so far though unfortunately but you can see here up on her head she does have a halo kind of like an angel and stuff then she's got her blonde hair pulled back into a ponytail again very nice outfit white outfit here as you can see the mixtures of the yellow color, orange color into the red looks very nice orange cloth down here going down into red down at the bottom same with it back there and then of course more like angel wing looking style out um pieces of like her dress or skirting there looks very nice and then black leggings all the way down to her feet with the high heels on which kind of makes it hard to stand she's got little tiny feet again um so again makes it very um pretty hard to stand but she does pretty all right though for that for accessories she does come with um her caduceus staff which again has another effect on here that of course we'll learn about with the healing and stuff there so the staff you can just stick in uh, because i don't want her to fall over i'm not going to put it in her hand and then she also does come with her I think it's called Caduceus Rifle, we'll um, see here in a second though, but her gun as well for her powers, and two fists for accessories, an open hand and a fist as well to switch out with her hands. Um, so that's pretty much it for Mercy. Same, it's going to be pretty much the same joints movements, obviously some um, issues up here at the top. She does have the additional joint though, which you know most of the other females have not, but she does have it thrown in there as well. It looks like a little bit different shape though, but she does have that, so it's cool that that is added in there for her and everything on that so it's pretty cool for mercy and stuff then we got fair which again i think is really cool um so she's in her nice big piece of armor and stuff again i like the outfit and stuff since she's like egyptian stuff that has like the bird head and stuff very reminiscent of egypt and everything has the markings there on her face and all that She's got her armor that looks a lot like Iron Man. Like, that's every time I see it, she reminds me of Iron Man with her armor designs and stuff. Um, but very cool looking. I like the blue color and stuff. This is her classic look and everything. So you can see um, part of her design and stuff. She's got these big giant shoulder pads, which have the parts that open up to, like, shoot out rockets and stuff from her arms. She's on both of them. And these do move around and can adjust and everything. You can mess the, with those. On this arm, she does have to be, like, a rocket there on her arm. You can see a little skinny waist there with that 
the clamp is holding around. And then her leggings there with the blue armor and stuff all the way down to her feet. And then on the back she has these, um, her rockets and stuff that help her fly and everything. And again, they're just like Mercy's. They just pop in, but if you can rotate them a little bit, if you overdo it, they'll pop out. And then with these, they also, of course, have these additional little accessories. You don't have to have these yellow parts in again. They very much look like the candy and stuff, like I was talking about, like gummy candy. But they do open and separate, so you have the additional little flight uh, pieces and stuff. They kind of pop together and stuff, so you can undo them and have them four separated out and stuff, which looks very cool. I really like the look of that and everything. And so her flying and all that is for sort of fun stuff. For accessories, she does come with two hands here, so two just fist hands. And then she also comes with her rocket launcher thing that we could probably uh, try and stick into her hand kind of like that so it doesn't fully go into her hand because of her armor and stuff and the way this gun is designed but it does go into her hand so she can at least hold it there so we've got that for those so again this is probably one of my favorite set just because I like the two character stuff the way they're designed and everything there but let's look at the box here so here we've got Mercy she is a support her name is Angelina Zig Ziegler so I'm like 37 she's a field medic and formerly from Overwatch and I don't know if that's part of a logo just because she's a healer and stuff like that so from these things we've got her Caduceus staff here um, the f this one right there, that not the first one, the second one there. Then the Caduceus Blaster, so her gun there. Her Guardian Angel, Angelic Descent, Resurrection, and Valkyrie as her special move there. For that, again, very cool looking there for Mercy. And for Fair, she is a damage. Her name is for Faria Amari, age 32, Security Chief for Occupation, affiliation with Helix Security International. And then again, the Egyptian flag there for her. And her stuff here, she does have the rocket launcher, hover jets, jump jet, concussive blast, and a barrage as well um, as all part of um, all her stuff and everything. So very cool looking for these two characters and I like them a lot. And again, um, the Mercy again, she is a, um, has the white outfit and stuff. You probably can't see it on camera, but it does look dirty and stuff. And again, that's an issue I have with white things. I mentioned that with the White Ranger from the Lightning Collection and any other Marvel Legends that have a lot of white on them. It always looks dirty in me, especially like her wings and stuff. It just looks like it needs to be cleaned and stuff. It just is kind of gross looking for me to do that just because of the main manufacturing process and everything there but it's still pretty cool for this two pack of mercy and Farah. and our last figure here is reinhardt which is definitely super cool and he's of course huge and everything just for example here's tracer next to him and stuff so he is a giant figure and a big old beast and everything so very cool looking character lots of armor and everything going on with him and some cool accessories stuff here so we can see his head all the way up here is a little tiny head especially compared to the body i like what looks to be like a crown here on the top of his head it reminds me of like lord of the rings with like um Sar uh, Sar Sauron, yeah, um, and everything there. He's got, of course, his big piece of armor there. He's got a big piece there on his chest. A blaster there. It kind of like helps him do his moves and stuff. Big piece of shoulder armors here that do rotate and everything there and can move around and everything. His head does move, by the way. I forgot to point that out. His big giant arms with his arms that are kind of stiff and don't move very much in the joints. He's got a big fist there. Of course, he's in this big giant piece of a suit of armor and stuff for him. Um, then on this side, we've got, of course, same arm. He does have his little shield there and stuff which kind of moves around and stuff there um, and then his legs going all the way down with the armor to the big giant pointy toes that if he kicks you that would probably kill you <laughs> probably almost um, but just a big old hulking guy very cool looking overall in general stuff um, but we got ex ex accessories which of course are the most cool things so first off we got his giant hammer which can go into his fist which I don't know if it's going to be easy or not so there it is in his hand it wasn't super easy in, but not too difficult either but of course you got the hammer so you can take it and swing around and everything and this hammer of course is super heavy so it obviously weighs him down so you kind of pretty much have to hit um, keep it standing with where it can touch the ground stuff to help hold him up and everything there with the hammer and stuff it looks very cool and again it's very heavy and weighed stuff so you could probably use an actual hammer <laughs> wouldn't advise it but you probably could and then the other access will go ahead and take the hammer actually we'll probably just leave the hammer in so on this side he's got the his shield here of course with the lion which you can pop off and it leaves a hole there I don't know exactly though how you do this though beyond this this is going to be probably quite difficult to figure out how to get this on but then he does also come with his giant shield here so you can take it and attach it onto his arm if i can figure out how to get it on to where he can stand up still there i guess it's on his arm and then you can take his other little shield thing and put it on the outside so it's got his lion heart uh, or reinhardt lion head 
piece there on the front like that but then also since in the game he can like plant the shield and stand behind it and everything it does have ex um, accessory little attachments here on the bottom that you can take off and stuff and that you can put on and then it helps uh, hold the shield up and then so it just stays in place and then you can obviously take and have him stand behind it and everything so very cool that it comes with the giant shield which is probably why the box was so big because it's pretty big shield like, like there you can barely fit it all the way fully into the camera and again has the additional piece there at the front to attach on i don't know really how you do it with him putting on his arm because it's so big and everything it just gets in the way but it does have the peg there so you can push it in it has you know a little bit of length so it can stick out uh, quite a bit and everything there so now that we've got through reinhardt let's look at the book i don't think i can even show you guys the box here on the back it'll have to be sideways here but he is a tank so there we got his tank thing there her name reinhardt wilhelm age 61 he's an adventurer and a formally affiliated with overwatch as well and i think that's germany i'm not exactly sure if that's the logo for germany or not but then we have his logos here that we can look at so of course he's in his classic outfit for one then he's got his hammer or the rocket hammer, the barrier field, which of course is the shield. He's got the charge move, so where he charges forward. The fire strike, so we can swing the hammer and shoot a fire blade stuff. And then earth shatter, so just hitting the ground and causing destruction stuff with the hammer as well. But again, very cool to have this big giant Reinhardt in the set. And that is it for all of these Hasbro Overwatch Ultimate figures and stuff. Again, a whole lot to go through, and I was just trying to shorten it up a little bit. Got a whole bunch of the weapons and all this stuff to go look at with all the character stuff. But but I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully it wasn't too um, crazy and stuff going through everything. But I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments. Of course, let me know who your favorite character out of this set is, who you like to play as most when you play Overwatch and everything. So let me know in the comments. Of course, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Help us get over that 1,000 mark, which we probably may have hit by the time this video comes out. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.